getting that depth of perspective in country yeah. from professionals who, who are literally in the place where these things are going on is so invaluable because when you come back to your degree here in Australia and you've got to write about an issue like that in an assignment, you have this completely new perspective yeah. that most people in the class don't have. Yeah, so that actually, first-hand experience first is so hand, important. Such an edge over everyone else. G'day, I'm Rob, and today I'm with Serena from AIM Overseas. How are you, Serena? Good, how are you? Yeah, cool, thanks for joining me. Um, we're talking about the Border Crossings Program in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, so the full title of Border Crossings is Boarding, Border Crossings, um, Global Migration Issues, Human Rights and International Relations. So it covers a lot of topics because it's a very engaging and topical um, program at the moment. So relevant, so important for anyone that's interested in this space. Um, let's start by talking about the destination. Tell me a little bit about Lisbon, Portugal. Um, so Lisbon is the um, capital of Portugal. It's a very multicultural city. It's got an established African and Asian community um, because of all the border crossings. Yeah. Um, but also like in its town, it's such a mix of new and old. So you've got medieval castles, but you've also got a raving club scene and established cafe culture. So something for everyone, but also very interesting when you go there. It certainly sounds like, I know our CEO was there recently visiting the university um, and she was blown away. I mean, she's very well traveled. I was just absolutely stunned by what an amazing place it is. So it sounds good. And why is this topic, um, border crossings and, and the related issues, why is this so important right now? Well, it's really relevant in our political climate at the moment. Mm. There's lots of border crossings happening in the US, and in Europe, so not just Portugal, but there's Italy, France, Germany, all um, having a lot of issues and not knowing what the laws are, changing the laws. So it's very topical and current today. Great, so what, students, what are students gonna learn about as part of this course? They learn about border crossings in Europe. Um, so they learn about the beginning of border crossings, the political and economic environments. Mm. Um, but they also learn about what I think is interesting is um, the detention centres and human trafficking and racism in Portugal. Wow, that's so impressive because if you think it's such a complex issue, you know, from the boat arrivals in southern Italy, um, the flow of migrants through the continent, yeah, the issues of racism are so complex um, all across the continent. So what an incredible place to be going to, to study that. Yeah. Um, what other sorts of things outside of the academic classes are students going to get to do? Mm -hmm. So they do some site visits as part of mm -hmm. the course. They get to go to non-government organisations um, that face and deal with um, border crossing. But they also get to go to a military or police premise, huh. which will be very interesting and intense. Yeah. Um, but also there's lots of fun things to do, like a weekend trip to Sintra and a weekend trip to Evora. Wow. Yeah, so those are very interesting places in themselves. Like, at, like um, Sintra has a medieval castle, but also is like covered, like ruins of the castle, sorry, and it's just covered in like pine trees. It's like, I've seen some photos and it looks absolutely <laughs> stunning. And then um, Evora has um, like an established um, trade and religious center but then it also, um, yeah, raving club scene, <laughs> and has, but has one of the world's oldest um, universities. So there's such interesting places. Isn't that amazing? So much diversity. And so what about just in general, what else can students expect from, from this experience? Um, well, reading some of the testimonials from students that have returned, they said this feels like, feels a gap um, in an area, like when they're learning at home, it's just things that they're never exposed to in Australia. So they found it really interesting to cover all areas of border crossings. Yeah, that's so true. And you know, I think one of the things that I, I, mean, I love so much about international study, but a topic like this, um, getting that depth of perspective in country from professionals who, who are literally in the place where these things are going on is so invaluable because when you come back to your degree here in Australia, and you've got to write about an issue like that in an assignment, you have this completely new perspective yeah. 
that most people in the class don't have. Yeah, so it actually, first hand experience is so hand. important. Such an edge over everyone else in your studies and then going into your career. Yeah. Sounds like an amazing opportunity. Thanks for your time, Serena. It's been great to chat. That's okay. Thanks Cheers. for having me.